Mm -mm -mm. Coffee tastes even better from our new mugs. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I owe all of you an explanation for why I've been gone for so long, even so long that I had some people say, where are your videos at? And I have an explanation, it's a long one, but I'm gonna keep this video brief, it's gonna be more of a coffee vlog. For those of you who are new to this channel and have recently subscribed, I usually try to post more videos than this. Uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Bondi Johnson. I am the founder and part owner of Roasted Coffee Company, a growing coffee company based up in, the, the place always changes. It scales fairy, but I feel like I say all kinds of things. So anyways, dive right into the video. Our mugs are now live. We actually sold out. Uh, this is Sunday. And yesterday we launched the mugs, if you guys follow uh, us on social media. We launched the mugs and we sold out of the basic mug that we have, which will be like the new standard Roasted Coffee Company mug. We'll have new batches of that made, but we sold out in less than 24 hours. We now we, we still have the bean, the basic bean. It's a great way to support a local artist and it's a great way to support us. We took a lot of time in creating these mugs. We could not have done this without Emma Ponce, who I will link to her Etsy page down in the description. She's amazing. She was so helpful throughout the whole process. We started launching for anybody who uses Shopify or already runs a coffee roasting company. If you sell any sort of merchandise online, Shopify now has Printful, which is a great service for getting started. It's a third party fulfillment center where they do merchandise, like shirts, sweatshirts, joggers, hats, whatever, mugs. We took a step back and we asked ourselves, okay, similar to what I've talked about with drop shipping coffee, right? If you are somebody who owns a coffee roasting company, not to throw shade at you, but you use another roaster, well, that roaster is probably providing that service for tons of people. So your coffee isn't unique to you, right? So when somebody asks you, why would I buy your coffee over somebody else's? You don't really get to say why, because you can't say, well, my coffee is unique in the sense that XYZ because it's not and we found that we were doing that with our mugs We were just using Printful which was the easy way out when we want to have something that's unique to us Why should somebody shop at Roasted Coffee Company? Well, we have all of our own unique blends. We have all of our own uniquely I won't say sourced, but we pick the specific coffees that we want to offer as far as single origins and our signature roasts You can't get our coffee anywhere else um, we wanted to have the same thing with our mugs and that's exactly what we created So that was a long way of saying go check out our mugs support Emma however you can either Buy one of our mugs or buy one of her mugs uh, when you purchase from us it it leads to a reorder sooner us buying more uh, Mugs from Emma so that helps her you guys supporting us helps us support her so However, you want to do that. We'd be extremely grateful. We already sold out of the first batch so Keep an eye out for some, some, not only replenishing of those mugs, but we're gonna have some special mugs that we end up putting out. Limited edition will not be resupplied. And that brings me to something else that's special for you all on YouTube. I'm gonna run a contest. There were two mugs made, okay? These are, I'll throw them up right here, Team Caffeine mugs, okay? This is gonna be the new thing for YouTube for me, it's gonna be Team Caffeine. So I'm, I'm not gonna name the people that watch my videos, I think it's kind of weird, like, oh, you know, we're team so-and-so, but it's like, to me, Team Caffeine is like, if you drink a lot of coffee, like I do, like you all probably do, I just think it's funny to have, you know, Team Caffeine, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Team Caffeine all the way. So I had these mugs made specifically for this channel, uh, for all my YouTube subscribers. I'm gonna give away one of these for free. So these mugs are, I can't get over how nice these mugs are. There's only two. I will have one. One lucky person will have the other one. So I'm gonna have a contest. You're gonna get a free mug. You're gonna get a free sample pack of any of our coffees, single origins, signature roasts, flavored coffees, you choose. Uh, and we're gonna send that to you. So all you have to do is screenshot that you're subscribed to the channel and that you follow Roasted's Instagram page and I want you to take those two screenshots and send them to me directly on my Instagram So DM me those two screenshots and you're in. you're in the contest. You're in the drawing I will probably let this run after this video posts. I'll put a post on roasted social media 
of when the deadlines are. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. These mugs are so cool. And I'm really excited for one person to have this mug. There are only two in this world. And Emma is the only one uh, who makes them and who, who can make them. So I'm excited for it to be that you know unique, intimate thing where I have a mug, you have a mug whoever wins and uh, that's it, you know? You're one of the only people with a Team Caffeine mug. You're one of two. And they're super cool mugs. Move on here, I got some things to cover. The reason I've been gone is because I just had a lot going on and I've been back and forth between here and Orlando. So it's been tough for me to make a video, but I made a video like two weeks ago and when I went to upload it for Marcus to edit, it wasn't there. Like the video just wasn't on the SD card. I started it, I stopped it. I remember both times hearing the sound of, hey, you're recording and hey, you just stopped recording. And I don't know what happened to it. The video literally was not on my SD card. There was nothing on my SD card. So I don't know what happened, but that prolonged the absence. Just an unnecessary amount of time added to what was already a little bit of me not posting. So altogether, it's probably been about a month, maybe more. And I'm sorry about that. I have a lot of videos I wanna make, but I wanna just update you guys real quick on what we have going on on the business side, because it's a lot. There is a lot we have in the works and a lot that has already happened and is going to happen. So one of the things, that I wanted to address quickly. I've gotten a lot of comments lately on my one of my videos that did really well, which was the cost of starting a coffee roasting company. Now, those of you who follow me for a while, you probably know I'm all about starting. Just get started. Look at anybody in any industry who is wildly successful. If you ask them how they got started, chances are they didn't know what they were doing when they got started. They just went. They didn't cross all their T's and dot all their I's. They, they jumped in two feet and then figured it out. And my whole thing is you'll figure it out one way or the other. Be smart when it comes to making decisions. Think things over, but don't hesitate to get started because there's a small detail you don't have completely figured out. If I waited to start the company until I had everything figured out, I would have never started the company. And there's all kinds of things we learn constantly, but just get started. That's the message of this channel. So with that being said, in the video where I go over the costs of starting a coffee roasting company, I'm trying to connect with those of you who just wanna start this at home. You want to you want to start roasting coffee in your house. You don't you're not looking to dive into a full scale business where you have employees and you have commercial space you operate out of and, and a commercial kitchen that's been you know certified and walked through by the FDA and USDA and and uh, local regulators and and I, I'm not talking or trying to connect and convey that message to those people. I think that's great, but I'm trying to touch and, and connect with the people who just want to own, get the equipment, start doing it on a small scale with friends and family, and then grow the business. So in the cost of starting a coffee roasting company, I had all kinds of people be like, well, you're not accounting for your time, and you're not accounting for this, and you're not accounting for that. And look, I, I'm not gonna get on here and talk about all the granular aspects of, of finances and accounting because that's just gonna scare people. It's gonna intimidate them and make them not wanna do it because they're gonna go, oh my God, that sounds like a headache. I'm not gonna sit here and go over our variable costing model and how we actually calculate our fixed manufacturing overhead and account for our time and, and this and that. And, and I have an accountant for a reason. I'm not an accountant. I understand those things and the logistics and what all goes into it, but I'm not gonna just, just vomit that out here so that people can will be intimidated by the process. I have an accountant who handles that. We have methods, you know, we have to understand that, but that comes down the road. Getting started and learning when you're just selling to friends and family, you pick up some of the business insights that really help lay a foundation of understanding what your costs are, right? Understanding how to track inventory, understanding what price to sell at, and, and you can sort of recalculate that as you go. But for anybody who commented and said, hey, you left out this, 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 and this, it, I did purposefully because I'm not trying to give this complex, complicated, intimidated look, intimidating look at what running a coffee roasting company looks like. So 
I'm happy to share all of those complicated Excel financial models we've put together uh, so that you guys can look through, but maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't. It's just not something that I've, I've made the effort to do. So I just wanted to put that to rest. That's what's going on with those videos. So enough of that, moving on. We just started supplying Washington Street Coffee House with their dark roast, just their dark roast, but we hope that we can sort of sneak in there and start providing them with all of their coffee. It's been great because they buy like 30 pounds a week and that is obviously some great business and that's just one coffee house, one roast. So like I said, we're hoping to capture all of that business, but stay tuned on that. Nonetheless, it's exciting. It's a local coffee house that people love and it's super, super cool, super hip, super indie. Marcus's girlfriend works there. So the guy that does all of our photography and videography, his girlfriend actually works there. I didn't know that until we were already selling coffee in there. So I thought that was super funny. It's a small, small world. Uh, makes me wonder, Marcus, why she didn't get us in there earlier. Ray, why isn't Roasted in Washington Street? Oh. All right, so we were actually nominated also for Consumer Choice in, in the day newspaper, which is large New London County newspaper. We were nominated for New London County Best Coffee. So we're one of three shops that were nominated and we're super excited for this and we're super grateful for everybody who supported us, voted for us. I don't know if it was a lot of you guys because I didn't put it on my YouTube channel, but um, the local support that we saw was obviously over like an overwhelming amount of support because we were nominated and the day is a large newspaper, it's New London County, so the fact that we're in there is so fantastic and we're so grateful. Uh, we have the farmer's markets coming up, there's lots of dates, and we plan on really leveraging these to put our name out there more and more. As we sort of dial in our business processes, we are trying to expand and put our name out there. So this is gonna be fantastic. The nomination for best coffee is going to be phenomenal. We're gonna go through the process of of how to serve cold coffee and how to make sure we're doing that properly and we're abiding by all of the county regulations. And so going through that process will be great so that I can share it to you all because I haven't done that uh, as of yet, but it's, a, it's an added process with associated costs and fees and I'll make sure to really outline that for those of you who might have the opportunity to take part in a farmer's market. So we're, we're super excited for that. We will be the only coffee vendor and there's a, a there's a, like 16 farmer's markets events in total and we'll be the only coffee vendor. They're gonna have this great donut place there that we're gonna essentially buddy up with and be close to where, where booth table is so that we can really sort of piggyback off each other and have the coffee and the donuts and, and we're really excited for that. So it's gonna be great for us and overall, I mean, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, like I said, I wanna keep it brief. Couple of random things that I threw in there but that I've been wanting to touch on. I'm moving to Orlando, my girlfriend just just is starting grad school in fall of this year at UCF, which is the University of Central Florida. So we'll be moving to Orlando and I plan on putting a, a essentially studio. Not that I, I need a studio by any means, I just have a camera and myself and, and something that I get to see myself on. But I wanna have a studio so that I can essentially have my camera set up at all times ready to go. And all I have to do is change out the battery and take out the SD card and, and you know charge a battery, put everything back in and hit record. So that I can just sit down, record a video, same camera, camera angle, same lighting, everything. I kinda have that here but not really because it's just out in the open and not really set up so it gets in the way sometimes I have to move it I just want it to be there and not touch it good to go sit down record and be pumping out videos left and right so hopefully I get to be more efficient putting out videos and there's a lot of topics I want to cover so you guys have given me great things but you know go ahead and comment you know what you want to see you know I've had you guys do that and you've commented a lot but just if something comes to mind, just go ahead and comment. And if you've reached out to me and I haven't gotten back, you know, please keep in mind that I have a lot going on outside of recording YouTube videos and even the coffee business. So sometimes it's hard for me to get back to you quickly and then set up a date to talk or a date to meet and and you know, all of that. So nonetheless, I love it and it's a priority, but I just have to keep in mind and, and remind you guys that, that there are a lot of things going on right now. So, so trying to stay in there. Again, any support you guys show, we appreciate. I just got an order today. I'm actually gonna look at it really quick and then I wanna make sure that I shout him out because of how awesome this was. And if you guys are wondering, you know, how can I support either the channel or the company really just 
just purchasing coffee and, and now purchasing mugs is a great way because you're also supporting Emma and, and Emma is just fantastic. So we really appreciate the support as it trickles down. Uh, ben, Ben McMillan, uh, he just ordered almost one of everything that we have and, and literally left a note that says, my way of saying thank you for the videos. He's been working on starting a coffee roasting business. So, you know, and he said he's gonna pass some of the coffee on to his friends and family. And, and I, I mean, I can't say thank you enough for that. It's, it's, it's extremely, I mean, that's so nice to see. And we try to do that for other people. I try to share other people's businesses on here. But, you know, we're all about building a big community and one big happy coffee family. So seeing that is just, warms my heart and that's what I hope to be able to do for other people. That's what we're trying to do with Emma. Like I said, just building one big happy coffee community. So thank you all again for, for the love, the support, the continued support and sticking with me through these times of not having videos. I'll stop rambling. I don't know how long this is, but it's probably a little too long. Um, I'll have another more technical focused video coming out hopefully here soon on a specific topic and just, you know, stay tuned for that. Guys, I appreciate you all and hopefully you're continuing to enjoy these videos and learn something. I will see you in the next video.